Good morning again, everybody. This is Apollo for episode number two of the Pantheon of Apollo. That's a working title, by the way. Might change it sometime. Don't know. Um, if you haven't already, check me out on Twitter at Apollo02110, I think. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's it. Yep. Man. Yeah, I'm so unorganized about things. Be all right, though. Yeah, 02 one one zero at um you can try me on facebook i might not uh, allow it facebook's a little bit more private i guess but you might be able to catch me on there um if you haven't already uh if you find anything you like in this video go ahead and hit the remember to hit that thumbs up button it helps us out a little bit and if you haven't already hit that subscribe button and follow me along my pathway as i teach every myself everything i need to know to go from concept to creation on um, just the basic part of this is is there's a lot of how-to videos out there this is not a how-to video none of my videos are how-to videos that's very important to note I don't want you guys getting mad like oh I came here to learn how to do this it's it's not there's better people out there I'm telling you go to YouTube find them make sure you support their channels much better people um, from my last video, you might notice that we're in a little bit different. This is still Blender. This is still a completely free program to use. Um, has tons of great tools in it. I mean, this, this program does everything. It does anything, everything, absolutely. You imagine it, it can happen. Um, this is, however, Blender 2.8. The last video I did was uh, playing around on 2.79. And I did a couple different, you know, I spent the, uh, I didn't spend as much time as I'd like this week on, you know, making a better video for you guys. I have this big notebook next to me full of notes and remembers, and I had this really cool idea that I was going to do a video on sculpting. <sighs> Sorry about that. My ice water. But uh, the problem with that is, is I think I was trying to get too far ahead of myself. And then I was watching a bunch of different videos. Like, um, what I'm doing here, all I'm doing is I'm just a regular guy. I work fuck, uh, 50 hours a week right now. I have two kids under two. I have, I have my other son here for the weekend. But uh, he's nine. So I don't get a whole lot of time to sit at the computer uninterrupted and play around with stuff. This is kind of, um, it just doesn't really happen. But the important part is is this is something I'm trying to show that you can do just on your own time. It's not something, you know, if, you, if you're if you an artist or if you want to make something or learn a new skill of any kind, it could be anything. If you're in the fast food industry and you want to learn how to work on cars, you can go to, you know, you can go to YouTube and how to anything. Now, I'm not telling you you're going to be able to turn yourself into a master mechanic, but you'll definitely be able to learn how to change your own brakes. I mean, we had this uh, discussion in the intro. I don't want to get too far off track because I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time. Oh look, uh, I just figured that out. That's cool. I um I just downloaded 2.8 today. I've been I played with it for about two hours. Um, I decided that I'm definitely gonna do the video on 2.8. This is such an awesome tool I mean I, I can't tell you I, I, I if, if you want to do something with artwork I'm not sure why that's not working here huh anyway if you want to do something with artwork and you're not sure where to start or where to begin just go make sure your computer can handle it this is a kind of a um, computer intensive program but go ahead and download, go to blender.org and hit the download button. Um, the version we're using right now is 2.8. It's a beta test version. It's not not being rolled out fully yet, but it it's pretty stable, I guess. Um, so go ahead and go check that out. Um, ooh, look at that. Ooh. What was I saying? Oh yeah. So what we have is the 2.8 beta. And why this is important for me is because if 
you remember from if you haven't checked my last video out, go check it out. I really don't want to recover a whole bunch of ground. I really, I really don't. Can't remember F. Oh yeah, it's F key. Okay. All right. There's I got like I said I got this paper next to me with a whole bunch. I I, I struggle with hotkeys. I kind of spent most most of my life using controllers and you know game systems. I didn't really do a whole bunch of PC gaming, so hotkeys are a little bit tougher for me because some of you guys would you know are more used to it. Oh, there it is. That's right. Uh, I was trying to remember a hotkey. <laughs> but um, what Blender is? It's free. You can go download it. You can play with it. You can. I mean, just in the time that I've been talking, I you, I kind of made a little demon thingy. Um, and go watch the how-to videos. If you uh, again, I I'm horrible at how-to videos because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning. Ooh. Nice. I like that. I really do. Um, F down. No, 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 no. This button. That's the button we need. But um, the reason I'm doing this is uh, I found Blender. If you uh, again watch the last video and get them more details on you. But um, I'm somewhat of a writer. A bad writer, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm not really that great at the rules of writing. Like um, sentence structures, grammar, spelling, and all that. So if you ask me to write down my ideas, it's probably going to turn turn out pretty bad. It's going to be awful. But if you look past that and into the ideas that I'm actually trying to you know, do then the ideas themselves are actually pretty great. Um, I, I think, anyway. Of course I do, because they're mine. But the problem I have with society and media is that there's a lot of rehashing. There's rebooting, there's live-action remakes, all these things. What's this button do? But all these things... There's not a ton of original stuff going on. Ooh, little demon. How do, maybe I want to do wings. Uh, what was undo? To undo is, where is it, where is it? Oh, control, control Z, control Z, control Z. There we go. Again, I got this list of hotkeys and notes and things to remember. Um, we'll go back here and do a little bit more on this nose. Wait, where's the grab feature? Uh, it's in here somewhere. Hey, there we go. There we go. Uh, pinch? Let's see what pinch does. Um, not seeing nothing. Uh, maybe it's... There's grab, that's what I want. Maybe I'll put a horn on him. Something just... But, okay, side, again, I get distracted. Ah! Um, so, what I'm going to do is, since I, I can't really sit down and write the things that I want to write, What I plan on doing, a little bit of skull cap, I think that'd be cool, a little, there we go, just all the way around, there, a little bit more detail for our little demon, our little demon, uh, maybe down the back of the skull too, uh, maybe I should uh, go F, eh, a little smaller, now what I'm doing is, uh, it, F is a really, really awesome thing to remember, and it took me a while to remember. Again, I had to write it. it. What it does is controls the size of the area that you're manipulating. So if you get it really small, it's going to be just the tiniest little details. And, yeah, just like that. Just like that. And 
then just come up. But what this is going to allow you to do is if you're a, if you're even if you're an accomplished writer and you want to move into something different, you want to go into creating something different. This program is absolutely amazing. You can sculpt anything you could make any you don't have to sculpt uh i was playing with this earlier go file new 2d animation oh wait no 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 no. what was it file new general oh yeah 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 that animation here all right now i'm just going to do this real quick i want to keep these videos around 10 to 15 minutes i don't want them to be really long so um oh one thing I do want to do, real quick, I'm going to try to spend about a minute on this. Uh, last week, I kind of had a lot of technical issues. Um, I, I downloaded a program called OBS. Uh, my brother told me it was a great program to use, and it did. It was working great for me. I had everything set up and situated. I went on YouTube and figured out how to use it and how to do the settings. Everything was great. And then when I went to, and I'm not good at video editing yet. I haven't learned that. That's next on my list. I really, it's, I'm something I'm learning but work with me so I do all I do most of them I'm gonna do everything in one take even right now as I'm stuttering and stammering I'm gonna do it in one take I'm not gonna go back and edit it simply for the fact that I don't know how yet but OBS is a screen capture software and I had it working great I did three videos that I, I found things in them that I didn't really like so I went back and did a fourth one and unbeknownst to me the fourth one didn't actually record, it only recorded audio. So I sat there for 20 minutes talking to myself, and then I went back to go view it, it wasn't on there, and it was I, I really liked it. So I tried recording it again for a fifth time. And then, again, I, I, didn't, I only got about 10 minutes in before I realized it wasn't recording any video, it was only audio again. So I spent about three hours on Facebook Live, or not Facebook Live, uh, Facebook Messenger video chatting with him, and I showed him all my settings and everything, and we, we couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. So I, I spent about another two hours trying to figure something out. So... Then I found out that my that computers, if your computer's new, and you have that little Windows button between the Alt and the Function keys down to the left of your space bar, you hit Windows G, and it will bring up the computer's, uh, Microsoft's own little game recording studio. And you can record it with that. You don't have to download anything. It's already in your computer. It's just not something a lot of people know about. So that would have been helpful to know instead of trying to download programs and figure them out and all that. I got about two minutes. All right. So two minutes, blah, blah, blah. Record Windows G. Figure it out. Go to YouTube. Figure it out because that's not what this video is about. Um, I'm going to do a quick... This is Blender 2.8 EV. This is an amazing program, state of the art, and guess what? It's absolutely free. So when you open it up, oh, oh by the way, definitely before you download 2.8 EV, go to YouTube and look up how to download 2.8 EV. I'm telling you, I screwed up. I thought it was just going to be, oh, double click and open. No, it's pretty. It's it's kind of an involved process. There's a couple of extra steps in there because it's a beta. So that's my disclaimer. If you're going to use 2.8, that is fantastic. But do some research first. Take a few minutes out of your day. Open up YouTube. How to download 2.8 EV or Blender 2.8. Just how to download Blender 2.8. Watch a couple of different videos. Make sure you support their channels. If you watch a video and it helps you out, hit that like button on their channel. Even if you don't want to subscribe to them, you don't want to hear them talk all the time, still helps them out to hit that like button. And it, you know, if for smaller, independent, or starting out YouTube channels, for anybody, it really does help. I mean, if we help you, you help us, and we continue to make content. But, um... All right, this is what you're going to see when you open up 2.8. This is the EV. And uh, for me, uh, I just 
like this little thing. This is the animation thing. I'm going to try to make this pretty quick. Um, if you want to do be better at Blender, the best advice I can give you is to write down and remember the hotkeys. There's thousands of combinations to remember, and each of them do something different. Um, I mean, so this is your workspace right here. I don't know if you can see my cursor. This is the first video I've done recording like this. So uh, to your right is your uh, workspace. To the left is your viewport. Now, the viewport is going to be just what you see from the camera. This little thing right here is our camera. You can see I can do whatever I want over here, and it's not changing the viewport because it's because I'm not manipulating the object yet. But if I hit G and grab the object, then you can see the object's moving the camera. I can do up and down, lot left and right. I'm clumsy. I'm clumsy with my mouse, so work with me, guys. Work with me, guys. There we go. But yeah. So well, down here on the bottom is your timeline. And I'm still learning everything. So, I mean, this, like I said, this is just the videos I'm doing are not how-to. Don't follow along for me to how-to. But if you have uh, something you can tell me that I'm doing wrong or that I can do better or advice you can give other people, hit that comments in, or put that in the comments down below so that way the people that are uh, following along can kind of take those lessons themselves. Um, I think this is a great program. This should be taught in schools. I think this program should be taught in schools. So if you're an artist or if you want to make cartoons, this if they would have taught me this in school, I probably would have had a much different life. You know, at least I would have had the idea of how to do this um, a lot better. You know, I because you know it, it eh, whatever. But um. What we're going to do is create a basic animation, uh, a real, a real basic. Oops, what am I doing? There we go. I'm still. Uh... Damn it! There. All right. So what you're going to do is, uh, if you want to use an object, I'm going to. Let's talk about how to make different objects later um, when I've had a lot more practice. But for now, I'm just going to use the stock cube. I think that would just be best. Uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to hit I on your keyboard. Whoops, whoops, no, 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 no. What? What's undo? Undo, control Z, control Z, undo. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do is hit I. It's going to bring up this. Now, I'm not sure what all these do yet. But I know from the video I watched, this one right here, uh, lock, rot, scale, is what you want to add. So now what we've just done is added a keyframe, and that's down over here. So then we go to the next frame, and let's say we want to move this over here. Oh, you know what? No. Let's say we want to shrink our cube. We want to show our cube shrinking. So just shrink it a little bit, hit I, add your keyframe, go to the next oh, next one, hit scaling is S. So that's what we're doing right now. We're going to, oh, no, 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 scale it down, hit I, hit control, no, 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 don't hit control, hit, hit, uh, what I'm doing, oh, down here, this took me a second to figure out. Um, you're going to want to left click down here for your frames. But left click is not the way to go. You want to right click. So that's going to move your little blue bar here. So just be aware of that. Shrink it a little bit. Hit I. Go to the next one. S. Shrink it a little bit. Hit I. Add. Go to the next one. Whoops, a little too far. And what I think it is, is the closer you put your frames together, the faster it goes so like if you put your next frame way out here then it's going to stay like that for the duration of that frame imagine each one of these frames as like a second right as just a a, a quick second and a little tiny and then hit i so now every one of these seconds you're changing what's happening in front of the camera 
So let's say this was more what I wanted it to be this week, and I had a person in front of here. What I'm going to do throughout the week is I'm going to model a, a dummy person. Yeah, I'm like 10 minutes over what I'd like to be. All right, I'm going to wrap it up. But uh, you can just keep adding. So now you come back here, and that's your starting point. And then you hit play, and you can see my cube shrink, just like that. And then, of course, this is all dead space. But the reason I'm doing this, and the reason I thought this would be important for this video, is because this is the very first step into the pantheon of Apollo. Um, because this is the stuff that I need to know how to do. Even if I create every asset in the entire series, I create every character, everything, everything, and all of it's done, that's not going to help me any if I can't do this in front of me. So I kind of played around with it a little bit, got a basic understanding. I've only been on EV or uh, 2.8 EV for about uh, two hours now, um, <laughs> and I already love it better than uh, 179 or 279, 2.8, 1.8. I don't know. The last version, I like it a little bit better. It's a little bit more user friendly, especially for someone like me that's absolutely a beginner. So if you're following along. Go figure out how to do 279, or 2828, 2.8, my bad, 2.8. And start your own stuff. Like, uh, I would definitely, wherever you want to start. I wanted to start with modeling. So throughout the week, I'm going to start practicing my sculpting and my modeling. So what, um, whoa, so what I'm going to do, eh, no, 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 I'm not going to go there. But what it is, is when you sculpt or model or create an object, you can bring it to this view and animate it. So like, let's say you wanted to do a lightsaber. You make your lightsaber, and then this is where you would be able to show it swinging around. And that's incredibly important for what I want to do, which is create an entire mini series or a cartoon, whatever you want to call it. This is what I'm creating. And so what I'm going to do is when I start building stuff, you'll see it on the next episode. I'll have something really cool for you. But this is the beginning. This is absolutely a good beginning, is learning how to edit something, learning how to, you know, change things. I'm going to go back here. Go here, hit S, scale it back up, keyframe, oh, no, uh, I, I, ha, ha. Go back here, hit S, scale it way back up, hit I, and then... Just keep going. Just keep going. Play with this. Play with this. No, I don't want to hit that. I want a G. And then hit E, uh, and then E, uh, and then E, and then E, uh, 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 and, uh, and then go back over here. Now you can see now my cube shrinks, it grows, it moves it left and right. Um, You can also play with it, you know, just play with it figure it out um so the tip of the week is going to be figure out your recording if you're going to want to you know post videos of your gameplay figure it out um i like this nifty little setup uh 20 minutes later yeah i'm definitely wrapping up so uh this is going to be the wrap up the moral of last week is try to make it more simple learn your computer before you go download a whole bunch of programs and recording programs and whatever not have use just take a second to Figure out, just Google the best, what I did is I Googled, I YouTubed the best way to screen capture or record, I think record your screen. And it was like the third video that popped up. I mean, I, I, I was like, wow, I could hit two buttons the whole time. And that's just, uh, yeah, I felt stupid. I thought it was going to be more complicated than that. And that's kind of the point of this. If you have a dream, if you want to do something, just YouTube it. Even if this never makes any money, for me, it's not about money. Um, I'm kind of dissatisfied with major corporate entities right now and how they handle their assets and their movies and their games. So instead of complaining about it, I'm going to try to make my own. I'm going to bring something that I've done since I was nine years old to life. I'm going to bring my cartoons to life. My little comic strips are going to turn into cartoons. Uh, my writings are going to turn into great, great works. And even if it takes me the next 10 years to figure it all out, I feel like that would be better than the alternative. So 
If you found anything in this video that you found helpful or useful or liked, uh, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Don't be afraid to share it. If you have someone in your life, a son, daughter, niece, nephew, cousin, aunt, uncle, who is an artist, or maybe they have a similar thing to me, and they're like, um, yeah, just, just share this video. Put it out there. Um, we had a 250% increase in subscribers since our first one, so that was pretty awesome. I went from two to nine i think yeah i'm pretty sure that's 250 yeah, percent maybe i'm horrible at math don't listen to my numbers but i had we had some pretty good increases so so that shows me that somebody's interested and if you are interested that's pretty cool and i thank you guys for uh, subscribing i thank anyone who watched the last video um and i hope to see you again next week